what made you to decide to jump back into the race, you know, after your 2017 defeat? Well, several things. First of all, of course, uh, I had to uh, make my own introspection. Let's, let's, let's put it this way. Uh, I wanted to have that uh, time to reflect about the city that I love, but about myself. So I had to find out myself. And the book itself is great because uh, not only I had the time, I, I, I made several interviews, spoke to a lot of people, my professional mandates. You know, it's from uh, the Jewish General Hospital Foundation, where I, I was at the front line to help Dr. Weiss and uh, all those great uh, people. I was also working for Stingray with uh, Eric Boyko. So, uh, you know, with the business community, with the culture community, with Felix Sepol, I, I helped many, many enterprises. I had opportunity at the same time to talk about uh, you know, the, 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 their reality on the field with uh, several level of governments. And uh, at one point, I, I felt great. I, I finished the book. Of course, I, I'm talking to a lot of people and a lot of people is talking to me. And uh, I felt that there was something that was not going well. I felt that uh, I don't feel that metropolis again. I mean, districts are important. We, they are vibrant, but uh, the city is more than that. And the counterbalance wasn't there. And I felt that uh, because I love that, that city and uh, we've done so much in the past, we had a tremendous team. I felt that the time has come maybe to propose another alternative and uh, bring back Montreal, that magic. And uh, I, I never felt so many division and it's one against the other. And uh, there's no nuance, there's no gray zone. It's always an issue that you are, if you're not for, you're against. Uh, I don't like what I'm seeing. I don't like what I'm here. And you, you, you always have to pick up a choice when inclusivity, inclusiveness is the issue. And, and frankly, what we've done with the status of Metropolis in the past made me realize that uh, maybe if I feel good about it, that, uh, and I'm not running against Valérie Plante, I'm running for Montreal. And, and that's, that was really important. And it's, it's up to me also to build up a team and uh, show that, of course, I made mistakes in the past. I've changed and uh, that uh, you, 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 you're growing in defeat. And uh, this is a tremendous, you know, when I've said that, when I quote Churchill saying, victory is not final, uh, failure is not fatal. It's to have the courage to go on that count. I felt that uh, my own resilience is maybe what Montreal needs, their own healing circle and process so what exactly is different this time compared to you know four years ago you're saying you know you recognize you're growing but what oh will for sure change well listen i'm human uh we will always make mistakes but i think it's a mix of uh you know how can we say that the fact that i i took the time to take a, a break to talk with people to be on the other side uh I really feel that people need experience and, and to be assured and reassured. But at the same time, you know, they don't, they don't want uh, arrogance. They, 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 they want, you know, I used to call a spade like a spade. I mean, what you see is what you get with me. Uh, my own personal problems maybe made me look like, you know, I was stubborn and uh, arrogant, but maybe I tried to protect myself sometime against myself. But, but frankly, I think that with all those wonderful years, I, I, I do remember, though, that during the first mandate, that I had a tremendous team, and uh, we, 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 we brought back Montreal to the map. And uh, it's, it's up to me to, to show uh, that uh, I, I earned their support and their, their trust. But uh, I'm a better man, but I will make mistakes. So we'll see. But I think that... Uh, People deserves more than personal attacks and uh, labeling. It's about uh, issues. It's about way of life. And it's about hope. And I truly believe that through that book, I, could, I, I, I brought a vision that brings hope. We will talk, we'll need to talk about downtown. We'll need to talk about district safety. We'll need to talk economy, but we'll need to talk also of raison d'être, that Montreal is one of the greatest cities in the world, but uh, we need to bring that magic again. And that, that's what I'm saying. Uh, and it's the team. It's not a one-man show. And uh, you know what? 
after the big wars, after big crisis, it's, I feel like we need to bring back a war cabinet with all the best in their own field. And I feel like a conductor. I know all the instrument. We will bring back all those partitions, but I'm not going to play the music. And, and by having all those people together, we can make a difference. So in your new book, Retrouver Montréal, you outline some of your political ideas, though. So what would be your priorities come your campaign and ahead of the elections in the fall? You know, you spoke a little bit about high density um, housing. So tell me about what the main um, goals are for you. Two things. We need the living together is important. That balance approach between openness and vigilance, okay? Because there's a safety issue. There's a fact that people feel, you know, that, we, we don't care about them. There, there's uh, always those fights. It's like, if you're not in favor, you're against me. There's no nuance. That's one point number one. If we want to distribute wealth, we need to create it. But we need to uh, make Montreal relevant again. We're talking about downtown. We're talking about Eastern, eastern uh, Montreal. Uh, economy is important. We need to... Uh, uh, talk about housing, but it, it's like uh, it's, it, it, it's kind of a model, right? It's not. It's like we need better mobility. We need uh, better uh, development. We need uh, credibility. We need trust. And I know that because uh, we we will have a tremendous team, and uh, I believe in those development e economy. But at the same time, we don't have to jeopardize, uh, you know, environment. And uh, we need to think about people first and foremost, you know, all those homelessness, all those people who are leftovers, who feel like people don't care. I'll, I'll, you know, it, it, I really felt that it's like divided to conquer all the time. And we need to make sure that everybody is part of the solution, bring that hope. And uh, we, we are an example in the world and uh, there will be an end to pandemic. So if we want to do that, we need to be ready. And uh, if we just look at the tree instead of the forest, we might losing something. So it's not about one or the others. It's how can we make things happen? It's not the cyclist against the, 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 the automobile. It's not, you know, it, everybody can be part of it. And we, we, we truly need to find a better way for the living. Thing. So how do you do that? Is that, you know, with your team Ensemble Montréal, you know, you, you say that you're going to be joining back with them. So what, what well, is, I, I will ask their cool. support because I feel that, uh, you know, they are a lot of former colleagues and friends and I spoke to many of them and uh, we will talk together. But at the same time, uh, there will be some people, some new blood, people that will be surprising. And, uh, you know, you love Montreal. You want to be part of the solution. You think that the time has come to have that balanced approach uh, where we can provide great services, uh, be relevant again but that we have a responsibility, not only for our citizen, but you know, we are the metropolis of Quebec. So we have, we have some duties and uh, we need to think about the, uh, the development. We need to think about economy and all that. So uh, there will be some people that represent that. And uh, you know, uh, the issue of parity, uh, diversity, you know, it's part of my DNA. I've been minister of immigration after 9-11 in Canada. So, you know, it, it's like, we are reliving a few bad things that I, I, I want to fight and uh, make this place shine again. And uh, by doing so, we need representativity and uh, we will make it happen. Uh, I wrote that book because I didn't want, you know, it's not a biography, it's a personal book, okay? And uh, I was laughing saying that it's not a biography because my picture is in the behind the book, not in front. Uh, and, and nobody will be taken by surprise. You have everything on paper. You know, I, I, I remember my, one of my idols is Jean Chrétien, my political father in 93, when we put up together, remember the red book. We say, this is the red book. This is how we want to see Canada shine again. So I, I'm kind of using the same thing. It, it's, it, it, there's not a lot of people who've been doing that. Uh, we're saying, this is the vision. This is what I think is good, not only for Montreal, but for cities, because you don't reinvent the, 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 you know, you don't define the world through continent and countries anymore. It's through cities. And uh, by 20, the next 20 years, 70% of the people will live in cities. So this is a, form a formidable laboratory. Uh, you will have all those problems with all the solution at the same time. So that's why we need to uh, 
to uh, have a better counterbalance. I feel sometimes that we are in the waiting room. You know, it's not a jurisdiction issue saying, oh, it's Quebec thing. And it's not about saying all the time, oh, Quebec should give more money. We have a status of metropolis. We should be full partners and be part of the solution by building up that alliance, but not just waiting after, oh, it's somebody else's fault or uh, it's, it's your file. Enjoy it, do it. And uh, we hope to have the best. So this is the kind of leadership that I've been promoting in the past. And there's a lot of people who feel, uh, and it's not nostalgia. It's about uh, what is a true definition of a metropolis. It's not one or the others. It's, it's all of that. And uh, that experience with uh, new blood, dynamism, people who feel that uh, this is a tremendous opportunity we have to get out of that crisis and make things happen. And uh, voila, I mean, we'll see what happens. So you say you're not running against Valérie Plante, you're no, running from no, Montreal. No. So what does that mean? You know, she's the one who actually you will be rematching against. What do you say to her? She says that she's welcoming you to the race and she's excited to debate you, impatient to debate you. So what are you bringing well, to I, I, her? Well, I, 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 I'm happy that she changed tone because a few weeks and a few days before, she was uh, a bit personal, but uh, I'm not there. I mean, I, I'm, com I'm coming back as a candidate and wish for people's support because I think that uh, we can, as a team, build up some alternatives to make this place shine again. Uh, and a lot of people are talking to me. I've been on the field all the time, you know, as a citizen, as a, as a professional consultant and all that. So, uh, and I saw all those trolls and all, it's always the same people. So, uh, you know, at 57 years old, I, I've been thinking a lot for the last years. I, I, I suffered personally through my own family. And I, and I feel that uh, this city is a tremendous place, a great place to be that I, that I cherish and I adore. And uh, it's about time we have a, a, an election on, on issues, not on clips. It's easy to make the clips. And, you know, I've been in politics for 35 years, but you can renew yourself and uh, have that experience too. We need people who can take decision. We need people who can take the heat. And uh, there are several types of leadership. I, I offer mine. Uh, I, I understand the, the verdict at the last election. Uh, I've been decided just the last year that I'm, I, I won't come back. Through, the, through that book, it was uh, very liberatar. I, I felt like, you know, it's like you write, you write everything about yourself and about your ideas. And uh, I had a tremendous team that's been helping me too. And I felt that at that time that, uh, listen, I love this place. And I, I think that I don't want to be uh, in uh, looking at the others. I, I feel that I wanted to be part of the parade, but uh, with, a, with, a, with a great team to make this place a great city. And uh, listen, we will make mistakes. We'll see what happens. But uh, frankly, I feel good about it. In a nutshell, what do you say to Montrealers? Why should they vote for you again? Because we have experience, because we'll have a tremendous team, because, uh, you know, I'm humble in the defeat. Uh, I, I got your message in the past, but we all remember not what divide us, but what bring us together. And uh, because of that, I think that Montreal needs to be uh, for all Montrealers. And I don't feel that we are right now. And the team that we will propose uh, will be exactly the answers for that. Thank you so much, Mr. Kader. I